Well, Metro Council agrees to pay thousands of dollars in damage after a local sewer treatment plant floods streets and homes. Yeah, this after a sewage malfunction last September leaked raw sewage from the Gardeer treatment plant into homes. Fox 44's Vanya Joseph tells us what the city is doing to move forward. Hey, Vanya. Hey, well, just Wednesday, the Metro Council unanimously approved a settlement of a little over $143,000 to a Gardeer Lane property owner. Now, Councilman Rowdy Godet represents that area and says the council recognizes this is an incident the parish is responsible for, and these approvals are a step in the right direction. I hope nobody ever has to go through it again. You know, because it just leaves something with you. That's something that you'll never forget. Wayne Miles can still vividly recall coming home from a quick trip to the store <laughs> to a site he was not expecting. When I opened the door and I smelled it, it was like, wow. Came back and I'm looking at the parking lot and I'm saying, man, where all this water's coming from? Raw sewage had flowed out of the Gardier treatment plant right into his home. After being reimbursed for most of the belongings he had to throw out. A lot of shoes, clothing, bed. He just wants to know it will never happen again. We have uh, uh, launched into a report on exactly what caused, what triggered this, this spill from back in September. While working on avoiding future malfunctions, District 3 Councilman Rowdy Godet says the city also purchased property around the plant to serve as a buffer zone. We'll put in some additional measures to stop if in fact a spill happens to come in the future. In the meantime, the council has been approving settlements for those affected by the spill. It's important that these that these residents uh, recognize that they'll they'll be made whole from the losses they experienced. These settlement offers that have come through thus far get unanimous approval. You know, I, I don't see us deviating from that process. I just hope that it, you know that they can get it better, do right and do the right thing by people. And taxpayers will foot the bill for these settlements. Godet tells me they expect more settlements to come. Three other claims will be voted on at the next Metro Council meeting. In the studio, Vanya Joseph, Fox 44 News. All right, thanks, Vanya.